Okay, so we're playing Rush today. Uh, we're on Siege of Shanghai here attacking, and I wanted to talk about uh, Rush because I've come back to the game after a bit of a break, and I've rediscovered how to play Rush. I kind of forgot about it when I first came back and was getting chewed up and really frustrated. Um, and I just remember the old tactic of basically, you have to flank on Rush. You're always going to have some guys who run straight up the middle towards the two end comps. But more so than Conquest, you get the opportunity on Rush for some great flanks. Because you know, uh, at the out of bounds areas of the map, there aren't going to be any enemies there. So you always, always have a secure flank if you head up through either side of the, uh, the map. Now, I'm not exactly doing that yet here because I spawned as an engineer and I wanted to support our tank moving up, which is my basic plan until I die at least. Oh shit, where's that enemy tank come from? It's fucking flown in there like evil can evil. So our tank here has been a bit conservative. There's nothing too wrong with that early on in the round. So you don't want to waste your armor straight away. But he's just kind of sitting there shooting away. Anyway, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, he's, I can see he's moving around the side now anyway. So I'm going to keep pushing up through the middle here. I know the enemy tank is right there, so I'm going to try and get a few rockets into it. He's still sat there. We're a bit pinned down at, at, at the moment as a team. There we go, one hit. Normally these two MCOMs go relatively quickly, and I'm, uh, oh there we go, I was just about to say, a bit concerned that we haven't actually armed one yet. So I'm not going for the MCOM myself, I'm keeping an eye on this tank. Ah, sh ah. <laughs> Having said that, maybe I should have looked behind. A little, uh, little doge face there, took me out. So I've seen my squad are really close to the MCOM that's already armed, so I'm going to spawn on them and help put pressure on it. That's one down. Ah oh, no, too many. Another important thing on Rush to remember is to make the most use of all the assets you're given as a team. And here I'd noticed nobody had brought up the um, dinosaur, the uh, dino ABC thing. So although um, it's a bit of a thankless task, you have to bring it up yourself. And I'm just going to park it in front of A and, oh god, there's the enemy tank. I'm just going to park it in front of A and use it as a distraction. Use the grenades as an annoyance. And shit, look at that, I'm already taking a lot of fire away from the team there. The tanks switched to me straight away. So I'm not going to get too aggressive with it at this time. We've still got so many tickets. I'm just going to keep nosing forward and repairing and pulling back when need be. I still don't have a gun out, which is kind of annoying. Oh, there we go, now we've got A, so I've got to, I'm going to push up again. Tickle that tank with the grenades. Oh, he's got his... I think he had his uh, active protection on there. So just edging forwards ever so slightly. I know the enemy tanks there, but can still put pressure on some of the enemy soldiers. There we go, look at that guy. Flank them, please. Yeah, he knows what's up. I'm not too concerned at this point. Fuck off. Fuck off, you nanless cunt. What does nanless mean? D did he mean nameless, or did he... Mean that he doesn't actually have a nan. Oh, I didn't know you could blow those guns up. Oh, that's, uh, you learn something every day. So I can see shots from going from the right to the left. That's our tank is still engaging their tank. So if I can distract their tank enough, an we'll give our tank a big advantage and take it out. By pulling back again now and taking a couple of hits. more fantastic YouTube footage of me repairing things. That's going to become a, a strong theme in some of these videos. So I don't think our tank is being aggressive enough at the moment. He's just sat there kind of and it's kind of annoying me. 
Well, okay, there we go. We've all been anyway, so maybe I should shut up. Okay, their tank's either been taken out or he's gone, so I can now pretty much safely... Oh, no, fuck, there he is to my left, having said that. Um, I'm going to put as much pressure as I can on the MCOM right now. I'm not too bothered about... Not too bothered about retreating. I'm happy to sacrifice the dino at this point. To put more pressure on the MCOM. I think our guys have got it. Yeah, there we go. So again, the dino acted as sort of like... Um, a magnet for some of the enemy enemy attacks there. Even though it got blown up, it was worth it. Now, going back to what I was saying earlier about flanking, I like to flank up the right-hand side of this this map. Just clearing out the guys behind us that are leaving tickets at the moment. I think there's one more. I lost them. Yes, yeah, so I like to move up the right-hand side of this map near the water. Seems my squad are thinking the same thing. Ah, oh, they're making a <laughs> making a jihad jeep. Get on them. So I'm going to follow them, and we're going to swing round left when we reach the stairs ahead, and go for uh, go for B. Ah, uh, having said that, their tank. You see on the map there. Their tank is parked right in our way. Hopefully, well, I don't know where the jihad jeep went. Maybe he blew up. I'll support our engineer guy. Oh no. I think the tank's seen us. So is it risky to res him? I think, yeah, the tank has seen us. It's too risky to res him. If I res him now, he's just going to get killed again. Oh, uh, the tank's now reversed, and he knows where we are. Can I get round here? Is there a... St I don't think I can get round there. I think I'm going to die in the um, combat zone. Either that or to the tank. Yep. But now, having said that, they've now lost their tank down those steps. Looks pretty damaged. There we go, he's blown up. So not completely wasted. So I've noticed they've not. Our team's not picked up the uh, the Amtrak again. So I'm going to bring that forward. The Amtrak is such a. It's kind of ugly and slow, and people don't like it. But it's such an important piece of equipment. It can take so much punishment. I'm going to not drive in like a lunatic. I'm going to push forward again slowly. Just um, not exposing myself to too much rocket fire. And. Not get right on the point, but get close enough to support our infantry moving out. I could now drive straight up to B, but I'm not going to, because you see there's still quite a few enemies around. And I'm confident in my squad in clearing them out. But I'm just going to cover them from here for now. See three guys on the minimap now who haven't seen me, and I can completely stop getting to B. Okay, so now my squad's moved in on B. I'm pretty confident they cleaned it out. And I'm going to roll this forward. You park a diner next to an NCOM and it's almost impossible to, to defuse that NCOM. I said that their, their, their tank is now in front of me on the road. But I don't think they can see me from here. Not yet, anyway. And we've already armed A, so this is looking pretty good few enemy infantry sneaking through, but I think they're pretty fucked at the moment. Tickle the tank again. There's a few guys behind us now. There we go. Oh, hello. There's a support guy sprinting towards us. Never a good sign. I think he's got C4 on his mind. So I just jump out and uh, shoot him. He almost made it, to be fair. Massive suicide mission there. Oh, fuck. Always repair behind the vehicle. Never stand up to the side like that. Not very good. That was pretty standard again. Um, a went down pretty fast. So another thing I'm sure you've noticed when you played Rush is momentum can be a big issue. Um, you'll notice a lot of the time when a defending team cracks, especially after a, a, a good long defense, when they crack, um, the momentum shifts 
to the attacking team and all of a sudden the defending team will lose two, three, four, five MCOMs in a row really quickly um, when their front line gets broken. And you should always be looking to take advantage of that as an attacker. As soon as you get the um, ability to move on to the next MCOM, you should do. You should bypass the enemy. You're not there to kill them. You, you can you can flank them and sidestep them and get straight onto the MCOMs before they're ready. Now, I think the reason I'm not moving up now, having said all that, is the area in front of me is very, very open. I'm pretty sure this guy is waiting for me under the bridge. And there's two guys to my left in the room here, I think. Oh, well, there's one guy at least. So I'm just uh, waiting for some support. I've still got some stragglers behind us as well. Clear those guys out. Oh shit. Oh dear. Ah, damn it. What's he doing up there? Fucking hell. Cheeky little fellow on the bridge there. That's Mr. Doge again. So now I'm looking at what equipment is available to me. The jet ski. That's a great opportunity to get onto the back of B. And considering the number of stragglers they had, I don't think they've got a defence at all at the moment on B. So this is a great opportunity to plan. No need to rush towards it, just carefully move up. There's an enemy there, there's just another enemy, the same guy. I've lost a squad mate now to my right, so there's at least one, there we go, one enemy on the minimap, but I'm not too concerned about him. Because I can see there's another squad mate between him and me. Two squad mates now between him and me, so I'm just hanging back as the last line of defence. Staying as uh, close protection on the MCOM. There we go. Lovely stuff. You see, talking about the momentum, those two MCOMs went really, really quickly. That was, uh, that was pretty easy. Ah, shit. I think they came from above me somewhere. Up there, maybe? Uh, no. Ooh. Ah! Cheeky little fellow. So again, I'm going to do the same trick. Again, I don't think they've probably stabilised. So you can get right around the other side on this map here. It's pretty close to out-of-bounds, but I think you can sneak just to one side of the out-of-bounds marker. Can you get up here? Come on, there's yeah, you can. If you stick close to the railings on the left here, you can just skirt the out-of-bounds markers here. Look, the enemy tank is still on the bridge, so... As long as he doesn't notice, that's like, I think we're okay. And the squad mate has now joined me on this as well, which is good couple of enemy infantry up there. I don't want to engage them just yet. Yeah, I don't want to engage them just yet in case he, um, I attract the attention of any nearby enemies, because we're on such a good flank here, there's no need to give away our position. Unless you absolutely have to, unless there was a, we run into an enemy like that. So my squads are going, my squad mates are going for A, I'm going to go for B. Ah, no! Ah, oh, you moron! See, that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, he, he could already see I was on the MCOM. There was absolutely no need for him to be where I was. He should have covered me. Um, and in the end, all he did was get in my way. Which is kind of annoying. I can hear footsteps. Yeah, there we go. I can hear sprinting footsteps and see no one on my minimap, so I knew that was an enemy coming through. So I'm just going to stay here and cover. Ah. Right. I should have kept an eye on the left there. What's he shooting? <laughs> Is he shooting the furniture? Oh no, there wasn't a <laughs> there was a squad mate there. So again, a super quick flank, and uh, me and my squad got both the MCOMs there. Oh dear, I think we've attracted the attention of Mr. Tank. Can we hide behind this statue? Maybe got flushed out in the end there. Overwhelmed. So 
So this time I'm going for the, the dino again. I noticed no one had brought it up, and I'm a you know, I'm a pretty big fan of this this vehicle. It's got a, has such an effect on the game. Even though hand was like an absolute turd. Oh dear. My plan here is to go... You can go straight down the flank on the right hand side here, all the way around and back behind the MCOMs, which a lot of people um, don't take into account when they're defending. So I'm not going to piss around with that tank too much. You follow the, uh, the road here leading alongside the, the water. You can get right around to B and A. I can see enemies there to my left, but I'm going to ignore them. And just keep going. Most people turn left here, but you can also get all the way around here. And again, I'm not going to jump out. I'm just going to roll up. Hopefully, either my gunner will jump out, or we'll have some guys spawn on us. There we go. The guys will spawn on us, and um, they can go find the MCOMs, and we'll just circle around and defend. Though I might go for A, I might go for A myself. Because nobody else has spawned on me yet. There we go, cheeky, cheeky plan on A that's not being defended. The enemy defence is far too far forward at this point. There's like, literally nobody on the main map. Oh, a couple of guys have noticed now they're coming through. I think that'll be too little too late actually. One guy coming up the stairs, I can see on the main map. There's a couple of guys beneath me, at least. Now he's coming up the stairs, now he's coming up the stairs. But he's taken out the squad mate, he's got it the stairs. There we go. One more guy? Yeah. And that's A down pretty quick. And now we should get B. Oh, having said that, they've just defused it, fuck. I was going to say, now we should get B fairly easily. We've got the dino right up there, and that should be, that should be it for this game. Chat behind me. Yeah. Shoot me in the... What? What? Really? Where? Really? Where did he come from? Ooh, bit of lag going on there. Oh, they defused it. Oh, I didn't think they were going to do that. So we're very close to the MCOM here. But they're, oh god, look how many spawns there are on the minimap. Four guys, five guys on the tank. Our squad's pin. Oh dear, now the tank's coming around for a flank, that's not good. That's really not good. So our squad got, um, our ship push pushed in from both directions there. So I'm a bit concerned now, I can hear, we're running out of tickets, I can hear the end of game music. Aha! The Amtrak's just spawned again. So this is a bit of a do or die moment. I think either we make a push now or we lose the game. So I think my squad, looking at the, at the death notifications, my squad is still p really pinned down in that corridor where they were before. So I'm going to roll the Amtrak up to them. But look, the enemy seems mock at us now, we're losing. I'm going to roll the Amtrak up to them and, and support the push up here. Ah, uh, hello, I see you. There we go, look at that. That's completely cleared out the uh, enemies that were pinning down our squad. Now we're just, we've got to, got to be a bit more aggressive now, so we'll just roll it up to the MCOM. Oh, luckily we managed to arm that from the other direction, which is good. Oh, hello, where's he going? And now we can just sit the dino on the MCOM and defend it.
And that, I think, is that. Yeah, that was good. That was a good map, good game. Just showing the power of uh, quick flanking there and pushing through when the enemy's not yet not yet set up and also bringing up as much hardware as you can. <laughs> the fact remains, my team was pure shit. Pure shit. I was awesome. There's always one guy that complains. I'm sure he was excellent. Crow. Oh, okay, <laughs> to be fair, he was probably their most effective player absolutely savaging the rest of his team.